Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing something with you that I think is super cool. Um, these are reverse coloring books and I have two. These are so cool. Um, one of these is better quality than the other, um, but I will go ahead and do a flip of both of these. So I got both of these off Amazon. This is reverse adult coloring book. Um, see if I can find out who to buy. Um, it doesn't say. Um, it doesn't say. Uh, but I will try to remember to link it in the description box. I will try to remember. Um, but on this first page is just kind of like uh, some examples of little doodles that you can draw. Um, like what the different line weights will look like. Um, but pretty much it's got the color already done and it'll be in all different kinds of patterns. Sometimes it'll look like something specific and sometimes it'll just be like abstract like this. And then the point is for you to take um, pens, markers, whatever, and then you draw the outline, you draw the image based off of like what you see in the colors. Do you know what I mean? So like these like look like gems. So you could draw the outlines of the gems uh, or it could be something completely different. And you could draw, like you can turn these shapes and stuff into little animals. Um, you can do whatever you want, but literally it is a reverse coloring book, meaning that instead of coloring it, instead of like it having the line work and you coloring it, it's got the color and you do the line work. Do you know what I mean? A lot of these definitely like look specifically like gems. Like these look like geodes. These look like gems. This one's a little bit more abstract. This one looks like a gem. So I do kind of wish that some of the images were more abstract looking. Uh, I just like, I just like, I prefer them. I don't know. I feel like they lend to being able to like be creative a little bit better. Um, because when they specifically look like something, me personally, like my brain wants to do the outline of the thing that it looks like. Um, and it doesn't really leave me a lot of room personally to be like super creative with it. So
that's it for that one. And then um, there is this one, which is The Reverse Coloring Book, Mindful Journeys by Kendra Norton. Um, and this one is on Amazon paper. Um, and I don't believe this one is. This one is on like a higher quality paper. Um, but this one also gives you like a little example page of what the line weights would look like and then some examples of doodling over the different like blobs of color. And then I think this one has like more images that look specifically like something um, because it does have a few of these like mandala ones. On oh, these pages on this one are perforated. The lotus. And again, I like the ones that are more like this, like more abstract. Personally. I think I also like prefer the images in this book. The ones in this book look more like they were painted by hand and then like digitalized. The ones in the other book look more like they're like purely digital and a lot of them look like um, they're just like normal images that were then manipulated in Photoshop or something to look like watercolor. Um, and that's fine. It's fine. I just kind of prefer this look a little bit better where it looks like it was hand painted. Yeah, I'm not a super huge fan of these like mandala pages though. I mean, generally speaking, I'm not a big mandala fan, but especially in like a book like this, I just want to have a little bit more creative freedom with it. I understand the, you know, desire to have like a variety in here, but it's just like not my personal thing. So.
Okay, that is that book also. It looks like this artist also has uh, two other books. There's the reverse coloring book, like the original one, which I guess is this one, and then Through the Seasons, which is this one, and this one's Mindful Journeys. I'm pretty sure the person who made this one has multiple ones as well. It doesn't show it, but I'm pretty sure they do. But those are the reverse coloring books that I got. Um, I'm very excited to do some doodles in here. So I will show you guys those when I do them. If you want to see a video where I like do it on camera, um, I am happy to do that for you. Just let me know if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, I just wanted to share these with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.